guys, W6 here with Black Fox Knifeworks. Uh, today I'll be doing a video um, on uh, the surface grinder as well as I wanted to show a couple things. So a surface grinder in the vertical position, for you guys that don't have a horizontal grinder, you'll see it run in the vertical position. Uh, the next thing is to kind of show off the stability of this workbench. So this is an up-down desk, it's got the electric motor so you can set preset heights, um, you can move the desk up and down. So kind of something I've been wanting to try, at least for Blade Show, so I can customize the desk, desk height for customers coming up and checking this out at the show, um, as well as, you know, I just want to test it out in my shop, but that'll be kind of fun. Um, so the other thing is, I uh, wanted to show how to surface grind wood. And uh, I haven't ever done this before, so we'll see how it goes. But I uh, use an old woodworking trick where you hot glue um, wood to something. Uh, we used it a lot in, uh, when we did some wood turning. Um, so we're able to get a nice flat surface. I got some LMAX here that I'm shaping into a knife. Thought it'd be a good platform for uh, this test uh, before I get into the knife making of it. So let's go ahead and, and get ready and do this. So first off, I'm going to load uh, the blade, or the I guess in this case the wood, into the surface grinder. So, you got two magnets, turn them on, and it's now locked in place, very strong, not going anywhere. Next up, I want to make sure that I'm hitting just right at the wood. Everything's lined up good. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the grinder for a bit so you can kind of see it run with the bit bench. Um, the grinder itself is very smooth, doesn't transmit a lot of motion into the bench, it's only when you start torquing out here at a, like a moment arm that you can kind of see the bench moving a little bit. I'm used to my bench, which is a very strong bench, screwed in directly into the wall. So this bench isn't going to move at all. The only problem with it is that when I started woodworking, I wanted the bench higher so I could do um, different cuts and things and be easier working with hand tools. Um, but in the case of the grinder, we have the grinder, you have this extra height. You know, it hasn't been as, as optimal. So I'm trying to try this out and we'll see how it goes. All right. So let's uh, get on the PPE and go for it. So I forgot one more thing. Uh, so this belt is just on there right now. So I wanted to show the electric tensioning system uh, on the Black Box Pro. So we've got a electric cylinder that pushes up on this piston housing up here. We've got graduated marks. So every mark here is about 10 pounds of force. And so between 30 and 40 uh, pounds of force is about perfect where you want belt tension. So it's really easy to, uh, to turn on the belt tension with this system. So I'll go ahead and increase this up to about 40 pounds of force is about where I like it. So you can see it running. The bench itself is pretty smooth. You see a little bit of oscillation. Go ahead and uh, turn off the grinder and check to see how we did. You can kind of see here I have a couple different a groove mark where the belts went through as well as these non-groove parts. I kind of wanted this to kind of see the difference between them. I'm actually extremely happy about, about this. Um, so what you can see here is you have even pressure when the belt climbs onto the wood and climbs off. What usually happens with the knife is you get a slight rounding over because the profile of the knife, let's say this part out here, you're going to have less, you know, more pressure out here because you have less material than wood over here. So you get more of a rounding effect over here than if you were doing it over here. And that rounding effect is probably about an eighth of an inch where we'll just round off it slightly. I found that if you get your surface down to where you want it, you take it over to a disc grinder and then you can just even the surface out and get rid of that rounding very quickly.
But on the wood, I am very happy with that. So I'm going to put a straight file on it and we'll see how straight it is. I'm not sure if that's going to show up on camera. You can see no rounding on there at all. The wood was very straight. This came out of my thickness planer so I know the wood is, is pretty dang straight to, to work with. You can see the size of the cut we took fairly quickly. Maybe a little bit better over here. Everything looks really good. I am actually really surprised. First time I've done it with wood and that that is really straight. So if you guys have any questions about uh, Black Fox 1, so we have a couple different models that uh, we'll be bringing to Blade Show. Some uh, special things we'll be bringing to Blade Show I haven't really announced yet. They're in the works. Uh, I'm not going to announce them until Blade Show, so if you guys are in Portland on November uh, 1st, or 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I think it is, um, come down to the booth and we'll have some cool things for you guys to check out. Alright, thanks.